It could be weird sometimes when I first meet somebody, tell them this is what I do for a living. Sometimes they have uh, weird comments for me. Like a lot of times I'll tell someone I'm a comedian, they'll say something like, oh, that's funny, because uh, you actually look like a comedian. <laughs> Which I think is a very nice way of saying, mm, Jew face. <laughs> you look super Jewy in the face. <laughs> and you're probably too lazy to be an accountant. <laughs> I am a Jew, that's how I got the face. <laughs> it can be hard these days telling Jews apart from just plain old, regular, uh, less intelligent whites. <laughs> I thought you guys loved me, no? Not anymore? All right. <laughs> but look, if you ever want to know if someone's Jewish or not, you don't have time to check their penis, or they don't have a penis. <laughs> Here's a uh, real quick one question quiz. You can ask them. Just say, if you could travel through time to any time period, when would you travel to? Okay, if the person responds without skipping a beat, I would travel back in time to kill Hitler. That's a Jew. <laughs> That's right, our Jews are bonded by a common time travel fantasy. <laughs> Personally, I don't think that's thought through very well, though, because I think uh, if I travel back in time to kill Hitler, uh, I would get killed by Hitler. <laughs> I, I don't think one more tiny hairy guy is just gonna tip the scales <laughs> in our favor. <laughs> don't send another Jew, send a cyborg assassin from the future. Right, a Terminator. The only problem with that is most cyborg assassins from the future are Austrian. <laughs> Could tip the scales in Hitler's favor.